Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, we are on now hour 68 in a row of sub freezing temperatures in Huntsville, and that's the case for mo most of North Alabama. It goes all the way back to Sunday evening, and we're likely going to stay below freezing tonight through tomorrow morning before finally ending this streak tomorrow afternoon. We got close to that freezing mark, but have stayed just shy. 30 degrees in Huntsville, Gunnersville, and Decatur, up to 31 in Muscle Shoals, and 27 in Scottsboro. Notice the wind chills are pretty much the same as our actual temperatures due to the much calmer wind we have had today. So it at least feels a bit more comfortable out there this afternoon, especially with that sun shining and that sun has helped melt many of our roadways uh, from that snow ice mix that was caked to many of the roads earlier today. So here's a look at many of the uh, roadways from Tuscumbia, Muscle Shoals over to Athens and Decatur looking better this afternoon compared to what we saw yesterday. But if the road is wet now, it is likely going to refreeze overnight tonight with less traffic and the colder weather moving back in tonight. So best uh, advice I have is if, if you have any errands to run and the road looks okay and travelable, uh, of course, take it slow, but you'll want to do that sooner rather than later before we see things freeze back up. Our latest on the traffic map shows numerous accidents in Madison and Limestone County, uh, especially on those roads that have a grade to them. It's still difficult to get around. Uh, we, we know that here at Way 31, uh, trying to get up and down Montesano Boulevard has been a big challenge for us. So refreeze is our main concern tonight. I see road Roads will likely be a widespread problem, uh, especially after the sun sets. We will have some melting tomorrow. Still slick in spots, especially in the less traveled areas. Uh, it's going to take a little bit more uh, to get rid of that snow ice mixture. And then tomorrow night, there is a low threat for freezing rain in spots. Let me show you where that's possible in a minute here. But for tonight, our forecast lows will be in the mid to upper teens, uh, about 10 degrees warmer than last night, but still cold. Still, our pipes are in danger of being frozen, so you want to make sure those are dripping uh, before you go, go to bed tonight. As we head toward Thursday, here's our hour by hour forecast. We may be above freezing by 10 o'clock in the morning, so we will have several hours above freezing from the late morning all the way through the afternoon and even into the evening tomorrow in Huntsville. It is expected to stay above freezing, so that should go a long way to help melt away the snow on the roadways. The one issue is we're not going to have much sunshine to help us out. Uh, in that melting process. Here's future radar for tomorrow. After a dry start to the day, we are going to be watching the temperatures because we will have showers moving in in the late morning. And if we are still below freezing in spots, that's where we could at least briefly get some freezing rain. From that point on, most of us are going to have temperatures above freezing, which means it would just be light rainfall moving through near and north of the ten Tennessee Alabama state line is where we'll have the best chance at those near or sub freezing temperatures sticking around through the afternoon. So that's what we'll be watching for that freezing rain threat tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. This precipitation comes to an end by midnight on Friday night. Uh, if we see ice, it's going to be on the light side around the shoals up into Tennessee. I think most of us are going to avoid it, including in Decatur and Huntsville. But again, we'll be monitoring the temperatures closely because if it's raining while temperatures are below freezing, that means it's freezing rain and could cause uh, another icy gla glaze to develop. On Friday, it's going to be windy and cold. Wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour, a possibility. That will keep our wind chills well below our forecast high, which is 32 on Friday, 22 the high on Saturday. Notice we have more frigid cold temperatures Friday night and Saturday night, but we will finally turn the corner to much warmer weather next week, but also a lot of wet weather coming our way next week as well.